Hey guys, it's Weekend Science Guy, and today I want to show you guys a microwave transformer. A microwave transformer has the job of taking your outlet socket power, which is about 110 volts, and transferring it to 2000 volts output for your microwave to run on. A transformer is basically just a steel loop with two coils. Your first coil is your primary coil. It is your input, and is wound around one side of the steel loop. On the other side of the steel loop, you have a secondary coil. This picks up that electrical current and is your output coil. The voltage is dependent on the ratio of the number of turns between these two coils. Now I will be demonstrating my higher voltage transformer. I will be doing this by arcing the output winding. Since air has quite a bit of resistance, I can use the ionization of air to form a circuit. So as you can see, that has a tremendous amount of power. So now you guys have seen what happens when you have many more turns on your secondary coil than your primary coil. But what happens if you have the exact opposite? What happens if you have one single loop on your secondary coil, such as this copper plumbing pipe, and many more turns on your primary coil? Well, what you get is instead of a 2000 volt output like before, you get one volt, but it also allows you to carry much more current through this conductor. I made it out of copper pipe so that it could also be used as a cooling system through the block. So what I have here is basically two copper conductors that are 10 gauge that are spun together. So as you can see, they just don't even stand a chance for this high amperage. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Weekend Science Guy. I hope you guys now know how to work a microwave transformer. And please, please do not try this. It's so dangerous. And if you do, I'm not responsible for any bodily harm or personal property damage. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any other ideas for cool videos I should try. And if you want instructional video on that higher amperage transformer, please leave a comment and I will try to get up a video as soon as possible. Hey, thanks.